I'm still a little surprised at how long everything is taking to build. Because I feel like I've made a lot of builders, but I guess it I guess I didn't. I haven't. Right, unicorn. Give me give me three more. Two more. Three more. Not good enough. Alright. Still not enough. We've got to be close. Give me that. I guess we have the railing left. Maybe another 10 or so. That's fine by me. So. I guess our blood moon is tomorrow. <laughs> I really need to write down our blood moon timings because a lot of our plans are are built upon blood moons and if I am never sure about them then you know it's not exactly the the best strategy. <laughs> I believe. I think we can make it. There we go. That's it. Alright. So our boat is prepared. It's ready to set sail. All we need to do is, uh... Get that ready. Get get everything else ready. No, 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 no. Back. These guys are gonna right, got me covered. Do they? Okay, I was like, where are all my archers? I am a little scared. Sixteen. So I'm really super hoping tomorrow's Blood Moon Day. Is there anything else that we can do to help us? Not really seeing it. I think we're good to go here. check is if there are any shrines available on this left side here as if there are I want I want them on um, especially if it's a archer shrine we've checked to the right there are no shrines that way so I just want to make sure on the left that we're also it also don't have any bonuses that we can grab. Because this is literally whether we're going to win or lose. <laughs> this is where everything is based. 
upon. And I'm not seeing any shrines. Getting pretty far. A little scared. Yeah, alright. So, no shrines on this island at all? Is that right? Shoot. <laughs> I definitely screwed up, guys. Uh, let's very much hope that those guys are not coming from... Please eat. I need you to eat. The stag can eat here. Why can't you eat here? Unicorn, you're letting me down. So, so today's blood moon. That's what that sound is. So that means that either they're coming from the right or they're right behind me. Because <laughs> this, this portal isn't active. I haven't seen any other portal active yet. So I'm very concerned that they're right behind me. We have enough money that I think I'll be able to survive. But my unicorn is definitely not up to snuff right now. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost home. Eat a little bit. Okay, we're fine. Are we fine? I thought we were closer. <laughs> okay, we're good. Get our stamina up. Where is the blood boat? Is it on the right side? Is it not on the right side? Is it on the left side? If it's on the left side, I want to send the guys on the right now. It, the thing is, I, I, I didn't see them on the left side. Oh, they are. They are here. Alright. We're going. <laughs> I don't need all this money. No, stop it. Oh, that was from my my banker. I don't need it from my banker. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna join our knights. Just so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Oh. Sorry, Scorpion Green. Let me see if I can see what you wrote. Man, ETTV is slacking. I used to be able to see what people would write, even if the Ahmad did it, but... What's going on? Oh. Sorry. We have our Ramada's a little overzealous, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Money means nothing at this point. It's just all about the people.
and see if we can build our portal there. I should have done it on the first one that we saw. Where is this portal at? This night should be safe because the last... Uh, so si the 17th was the Blood Moon. 17th Blood Moon. Let me keep that in mind. 17th was the Blood Moon. So the day afterwards is a peaceful night, which means that no guys spawn, which means that I'm fine with the builders coming out that way. Fighting on Switch now. <laughs> uh, there is a sequel to this. Um, this is the older version. Uh, I believe the latest updated version is called uh, Kingdom Two Crowns. And uh, that one even has co-op on it, I think. It's it. I I enjoy the game. It's pretty interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna babysit our knight and just drop him coins because coins is his health. So he he should have six coins on him, so he can take six blocks. Um, and I'll just keep on supplying him coins if he needs it. Team reviews for two crowns aren't great. Wonder why that is. The I was looking at the Reddit earlier, and it seems like a lot of people are, have been playing it, so... I'm not sure what the differences are, other than possibly two people. <laughs> uh, I, I don't exactly know how it works. But just as a reminder, this game is currently free on uh, the Epic Game Store. I think it actually ends today. Enter the Gungeon is coming out, which is actually amazing. I've been wanting to play Enter the Gungeon for a very long time. I haven't done so, so I am very prepared uh, for another roguelite. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Isaac, so I'm... I've heard a lot of good things about Gungeon. So I'm pretty hyped for that. And it looks like this, he has it under control. Crap. <laughs> let's, let's not die unnecessarily. I'm gonna put all these coins down. So we're gonna head back so we can get, get to our base in a proper time. Try to get a time when you're online with the same time as your friends. I agree. <laughs> the older you get, it, it's really hard to peel people away from family, jobs, and all that other stuff. Alright, what do I want to do with this portal? I want to... Put it on our front line. No, not, not our front line, but closer to our base. Perfect. Okay, we are ready for our counterattack. How is this going to go? I'm not sure. Youth is indeed wasted on the young. Oh no, I can't, I can't deal with that much money, guys. Uh, you keep that though. Maybe the greenlings will get to you and you can fend them off for a little bit. Alright, so what do you think, guys? Am I going to be able to survive this? Or is this going to be a blood fest? I kind of want to send my knights forward just so they actually do work other than just running away. But around here is when they start lagging and they actually start getting attacked. So I guess it's fine. We'll have the triple archer thing going on. 
The main thing I'm concerned- No, dang it. <laughs> I forgot. The main thing I'm concerned about is our uh, catapult. The, the breeders, if they shoot coin uh, a rock into this clump that's right here, we're pretty much all dead. <laughs> that would be a very bad time all around for everyone. So we're hoping for the best. And as a reminder, every time you kill a portal, the counterattack, you need to kill everyone or bribe them uh, with coins. Otherwise, uh, they'll keep on going, even though normally uh, they'll go away after an attack, or after after daylight comes. Okay, we're losing, we're losing guys, uh, mainly builders. So I'm gonna put some builders up here. Okay, our knights. Oh no, our knights have already called it quits. I guess for good reason. Uh, let's. Stack up our bows. Alright knights, this, this is your time to shine here. Knights are so good. If only they actually attack things. And uh, didn't die, alright. Okay, alright, so, so far this has been a bust. We did get rid of one of them, and we're actually saving all of our goods right here. So the three person tower that we put up earlier might actually be our saving grace here. I'm actually very pleased with what happened here, so, awesome. Yes, he is a banker. You can see that uh, in the back, all my coins that I've stocked up. So whenever I uh, pass by him, he'll fill up my pouch. So this means that we're pretty much in... Uh, we're, we're pretty much heading to our last island after this. The only way that we can screw this up is if there's a blood moon, like literally tomorrow, and uh, we all die. <laughs> but it looks like we're recovering all of our guys, so I'm pretty, pretty optimistic that we're going to do well on this island. was our last blood moon? <laughs> 17th? Was it the 17th? I think it was the 17th. So that means our next one is possibly on the 22nd. I think we'll be up and running by then. I just need to get more catapults and uh, be going. Okay, 17th. Thank you. <laughs> I've not been abusing my unicorn as much as I feel like I should have. I should. That's mainly because, you know, I don't have any need for money, but at the same time, <laughs> you're not, not using all your, uh, all your bonuses. What are you doing with your life, right? All right. I need money now. Guys, what what happened to all that money, guys? What where is it? I need to restock my my bows. I'm honestly surprised that we still have farmers alive. <laughs> I kind of thought that they would have all died, because they all come to the center whenever night happens. And they also brought me money. Wow, MVPs. OK, 
Okay, so we're full on bows. Make some hammers. Uh, right, that's for good. Looks like it never happened. We just, we only lost our knight people. I'm pleased with this. Let's set off our boat. It's even though it's nighttime, I don't have to worry because there's nothing on the right side anymore. Oh crap, I screwed up. No, <laughs> wait. Dang it. No, 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 no. I want you guys to keep this money. This is very important. This is what I was talking about that I screwed up. I need you guys to keep the money with you. Dang it. I'm, I'm sad because I should have uh, made sure that they all had full pouches before I loaded them on. But oh well. All right, fill me up. All right, it's not exactly full, but understandable. Uh, I need to stop <laughs> forgetting about this mechanic we need to, when we are trying to maximize our effectiveness we really need to make sure that we're doing it right um so for that same reason what i'm going to do is i'm just going to head over here drop a bunch of money and then head out i didn't mean to do that <laughs> You might say, you had to press it three times in a row before you realized that you didn't have the reaction time for that. And to that I say, I completely knew that that was happening, but for some reason I just kept on pressing the button. Okay, so... It should be pretty good. We have two knights on here. Uh. We have the potential to get three, which is actually fantastic. We can bring three to our next island. And uh, that'll be basically max, the max handicap that we can get for the next island. So things are looking good. The only thing that can screw this up is the next blood moon. Um, it's not really going to ruin us unless they get through literally everything that we have and start heading towards the boat. As long as we stop them somewhere within our base, even if it's like right here, uh, we'll be good. For that reason, we might actually want to just build upon literally every single mound that we can find. <laughs> We can use up our money that way, and that will just ensure that uh, we have enough buffer to get our boat over to the pier. But that's a long way, so they're going to be going for a couple days. We're definitely going to reach at least one blood moon before then. So what I really should be doing is getting more guys. I forgot to recruit today, I think. Done. Can't can't sit back and uh, rest on our laurels. We got to make sure that we're super super safe. We can still lose it at any moment. A bad blood moon and suddenly everything's gone. Uh, we've pretty much. Eliminated a lot of the problems with our RNG, aka the aim of our archers, because we have the so many of them that they're able to basically take care of whatever comes by. But 
They're still not that strong. We still don't have that many. Just following slowly behind them to make sure that nothing bad happens. Alright, how many guys? Two, hopefully. B4? Where did you guys come from? I'm not gonna complain about it, but. Kinda weird. That must have been two guys that I got before I didn't notice. Um, so one thing that we could do is we could, we should have a camp on the right side. I believe we have a camp on the right side. So we can set up a portal to that camp and just get that every day as well. Um, they're definitely not going to reach our base anytime soon, but you know, it's always, it's always good to have more people. It's unfortunate that we lost our baker um, early on, but I think bakers are supposed to be pretty, pretty good. In fact, I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that at all. I, I I saw the bows on the ground. I'm like, oh, this is the bow setup, and that is not the case. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. Right, so there really isn't much for me to do left, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up those portals I was talking about. So we can get uh, those extra people. I can always just expand this as well. Uh, no reason to do it, but we could do it. Additionally, we could get rid of the trees and put a perimeter all the way to the dock just as a precaution and then we'll have a final stand over there if that ever comes to pass. That might be interesting. You guys are slow. I'm still a little unsure of the logistics of how these engine, how these uh, builders are pushing the boat. Cats have long arms. Don't give me money, thank you. Drop some more money in front of you guys. And I'm gonna wait for you guys to pass the portal before I use it, because I don't wanna stand in the stand there, then they'll drop all their money. That'd be un now let's go grab the people in the camp here. Somewhere. Wherever they are. So I, you know, I totally forgot about the Blood Moon that could have been today, but I guess it's tomorrow. So, cool. <laughs> Where is this camp? There was, there was one on the right side, right? Perfect. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still unsure if uh, coins disappear. Like, we we saw, I think I saw some coins disappear in our base that one time. Um, which means that putting those coins in that camp is not going to be a long-term solution. Kind of unfortunate. But it should last a long, a, a long enough time. Hopefully. Are you guys still picking up coins? Okay, 
Okay, so here, here's our way to check. Um, we dropped all those coins over here a long time ago. Are they still here? They are not. So... That kind of sucks. Wait, don't I already have a portal over here? <laughs> well, if I, if I don't, I do now. Okay, today's Blood Moon Day. You can tell it's it's real cloudy, so if I wasn't keeping track, I would at least know through that. So the only real concern about blood moons um, are the breeders picking up these catapults, stones that we that we threw, and throwing them back at us. That's Pretty much the only way that I think that they'll be able to defeat us. Um, defeat this whole base, at least. So we just gotta hope for that not to happen. And I guess that would be one reason that we could have actually moved up our perimeter. Uh, that would have been an, a decent reason to do that. But we'll see. I kind of wanted you guys to keep all those coins, but it's fine. I feel like we should have more archers. I haven't took any bows while I was gone. Guys, catapult people, it's your time to shine. Who are our elite bows here? Wow, good job. Good shot. <laughs> Archer guys, what are you doing? Okay, so I don't think that was the Blood Moon crew. I think that was the normal Night crew. Wait, that doesn't make sense. What? There weren't any elites on that. What happened? I'm, I'm a little confused. Really strange. It should at least have been as strong as our last counterattack wave. Which had two breeders and like three floaters. So where were they? That's odd. Oh, wait. There's a small possibility that the Blood Moon spawned from the very last gate, and therefore they haven't reached our base yet. But then it would still show the Blood Moon graphic in the, in the background, so... I don't know. I have no idea why that wave was so easy. Time to check our progress on our boat. Hey, we, we recruited some guys. Nice. That wasn't all wasted. This is a different portal. Move this to our... Here. Uh, 
today should be a normal night. Uh, no enemies, so we should be good to go. Man, does this take a long time for them to get over here. Okay, we can afford it, so even if this does disappear, I do. Oh, wait. I was gonna head over there and use that portal, but you can't. I remember. You have to build it first. Maybe we might as well build that as well, but whatever. Run past these guys, otherwise they'll drop money at me, and I don't want that to happen. So, I've seen that there's one achievement for uh, lasting 100 days. And considering maybe we want to try that <laughs> eventually, but I'm also thinking I don't want to try that. Uh, the main issue with 100 days is winter time. Winter time in this game is very brutal. Once uh, you hit a certain day limit, uh, the season turns to winter and what happens in winter is all your farms die all the wildlife go away um, there's basically no chance to get any income at all so you're completely relying on the income that you've stored up in your bank until that moment um, and if you're gonna reach a hundred days that's a lot of days that you have to survive on uh, with little to no money or with I mean the rest of your money that you have in your bank um, additionally I feel like a hundred days would be kind of boring because uh, if you're that strong at that point basically all you're waiting for is every day to turn over and just to grab more people which I should be doing right now actually and because there, there's not really much else to do, you know, you'll have most of the island cleared, presumably. And you're just waiting for the days to turn over. So although I kind of want to try it, I also don't. <laughs> of course, why are you not eating? Excuse me, unicorn. I'm still mourning the loss of our baker, man. <laughs> oh, we lost some guys for some reason. It would have been really nice to have a baker. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we can bring him into the next level. I know you can bring up companions into your next level. Um, but I don't know what happens to the baker once you actually use him to make a bakery. Would he just stick around and allow you to keep making more and more bakeries? Or can you only make one bakery? I know. No, I want you to, no, <laughs> take, take my money, put it in the bank. All right, let's go check on, wait, what? Our last Bloodman was the 22nd, I believe. So we got two more days until the next potential Blood Moon. Um, try 
trying to decide when we should send our army to the boat. Maybe I can do it now. I haven't actually tried it before. Because the, the army doesn't have anything to attack, you know? So, presumably, maybe they'll just uh, escort the boat. That'd be nice. Okay, yeah, I'll just... Regardless of what... Where the boat is, I'm just gonna send our knights forward. Can't run past them, so I'm gonna wait. In my unicorn to be done. I should have a portal set here, so I'm trying to look, get to. How many builders do we have on this? Three? Two? Looks like three. There's two behind the archers, and then there's one on the mast. Nice if they could move a little bit faster. I know moving a whole entire boat is hard work, but come on, guys. All right, so we're going to head back and then we're going to center knights forward and then try to recruit a new knight. Uh, that is going to hold some issue for us. Maybe not. We have all these guys coming from the right. Maybe they've uh, picked up all of our bows already. Because we have, we have two knights currently, and then I, I need a third knight to put onto the boat as well. If we if we can. I don't think I did these portals very well. <laughs> I thought this was a little bit closer. Alright, we made it. Go for it, guys. Alright, so... Yeah, we don't have enough. Grab this next one, I think. Uh, but... The next guy we get from the other camp should be good enough. Alright, so we're getting to that point where... We are scared about a blood moon. <laughs> I'm going to try to recruit these guys if I can. I think we'll survive, but... Not a blood moon, so tomorrow's our blood moon. Oh, crap. <laughs> They're here already. <laughs> Night just started, dang it. Good thing we ate, we recovered our stamina. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hemorrhaging money. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Guys, you need to stop this. Hey, what are you doing? That's weird. Where did you come from? Okay, we got two more bows to get through for people on the right side and we just need anyone from the left side to come through and they'll grab the knight. Take take all this. I, I guess it really doesn't matter if I lose money or not, but it's just, you know, it feels bad. I'd rather put it in our bank if we can.
So today's our blood moon. Hopefully it'll be another easy blood moon. If not, we're just going to run straight to our boat and uh, set off. We have pretty much everything and our knight should be over there uh, in time. They, they have a head start, so they'll be there 100% before the other big guys come through. We seem to be losing a lot of archers this way. That's good. All right, we'll waste some money this way. Come on, walk a little faster. This is not for you. As you are well aware, since you keep on giving me the money back anyways. All right, with that, we have our knight, our third knight, and... You know, we're, we're good to go. No other problems. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Money is out of control. I do wish that they had a counter for actually how much money you had, like a numerical uh, indicator. Be very helpful for planning and whatnot, especially since I don't know how much is in my bank. There you go, guy. Alright, give me that back. Alright, we're looking to have a full pouch so we can head to our boat if uh, we are in trouble. We're not going to try to salvage anything here. <laughs> we're just going to straight out run out to the end and uh do our best. Now just ditch all these guys, these losers. What are they doing? Devoting their lives to a, a king. Just on horseback. The guy doesn't even do anything. What kind of kingdom is this? You got they don't even make any food. They just somehow make money come out of the ground. You can't tell me that they're somehow selling this food, because who are they going to sell it to? There's no one on this island, other than us. That's literally the whole point. This is just not a way to live. Not a blood moon. Confused am I, certainly. I thought our last button was on the 22nd. Wait. Okay, if it was on the 22nd, then I guess we still have another day. So, never mind. I take that all back. <laughs> it all checks out. That's a lot of... A lot of guys. Alright, it's raining. That is a nice indicator that Blood Moon is definitely happening. Okay, so we finally have guys. They'll be turning into one set of knights. And we'll send them off. We get to go. We'll see the aftermath of the Blood Moon. And then we'll just run to the pier. The dock. Alright, you can do it, guy. Congratulations, you get to live. Until the next island. Good work. So proud of you. Okay, the rest of you guys are becoming archers as per usual. Okay, I need to make sure that he has four archers with him. There we go. Now I feel good about sending him forward.
All right, for our finale. Going all in. Okay, I just want to make sure that we don't end up using up money uh, instead of having a full pouch when we leave. Because the banker isn't active during nighttime, so. Alright guys, get to work. No, give give that give that to me. Alright, I am ready. I'm prepped. This is our final battle on this island for me at least. Y you you guys can deal with this all you like once once I'm gone. I'll even name it successor. Uh, let's see. Th this guy right here, the guy in the green, and not the other guy in the green, but but that guy in the green. He is gonna be your new king. Let him do absolutely nothing all day, just like I have. By the way, you're not allowed to use any of the reserve money that I have put in the bank. That's still mine. You know, just in case I ever need it. So. Uh, feel free to look at it, though. That's, that's, that's acceptable. Wait, this wasn't a blood moon either? <laughs> I don't know what's, what's the deal, guys. I don't know what it, what it, what's going on. But... Those knights should be over there, and we're just going to head over there. So, <laughs> I thought we were going to have this final battle finale thing, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I just want to get out of here but before day 30. Why? Because we can. So the knights are pretty slow, so I kind of expected to run them, run into them here. I hope they're not behind me, because if so, then they are so slow. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. That was stupid. <laughs> Whatever, fair enough. That's full enough. All right, we're gonna be careful about this. We can't stand still in front. Of oh, there they are. Nice. One hundred percent. Just calculated. I'm just amazing. All right. Cool. We're ready to go. And there's the money I lost. So, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. We're going to do some saves coming, uh, just, you know, just to be safe. Um, I'm, I believe this island is pretty hard. The, the last one. So I just want to, I want to start off with the best that we can do. So I'm just going to save and quit real quick. Let's do it. Uh, full disclosure, I am not going to play through the sixth island today. But we are, we'll, we'll do a quick look through, see what's going on. Crown is safe. So, that's right. Technically, this is the end of the game. Um,. The Sixth Island is a free DLC, if I remember correctly. I'm assuming that comes with the Epic Game Store version. I'm not actually sure, uh, but 
we could see on the map that there was a one more island that there was clouds over, so I'm assuming that that is the case, that we'll be able to play that. But if not, then whatever. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Uh, since we're looking at credits, I guess it's time to talk about the game. So far, I've I've really enjoyed this. Um, we I think I played the original a while back, and I guess I maybe I wasn't maybe it wasn't uh, up to the standard that it's up to now, or maybe I didn't really understand the game, but I didn't really get into it. But this time around, I've really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things to think about. You know, you have to think about where you want to set up your perimeter. Think of when to expand, what you want to do with your money. Do you want to do builders? Do you want to do farmers? Do you want to do bowmen? Do you want to get the towers? Do you want to uh, do that and that and that? So there, there's a lot of... Uh, things that you can do. A lot of variables. And even though, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you can do. So I have enjoyed it. Thank you to all of these people who are scrolling on the screen. Alrighty. Here it is. Skull Island is what I believe it's called, and for good reason. Interesting. So we could actually go to Island 1. We can choose where to go. Uh, normally, you were required to move on to the next island, but since I guess we're technically done with the game, we can choose wherever we want. There's some unlocks that we haven't gotten. Um, don't know what they are. I know one of them is a bear. I don't know what the other ones are. Maybe the other statues. Because we have the archer, we have the farming. I guess this is a knight statue. This is the baker. I guess this is the knight hermit unicorn. So, all right. Without further ado, let's start our Skull Island. Hey team, thanks for watching the video. If you're looking for more to watch, you should add some on your screen right now. And if you've enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you comment, like, or subscribe. The feedback definitely helps me out twice over in the form of feedback and YouTube's algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.